everyone and welcome back on day three of my seven day birthday giveaway as usual make sure to keep your eye out for the gift of the day somewhere in this video and subscribe to this channel for an immediate notification of when so I upload I again. feel like a variety of planners I've gotten a good handle on what I need to be productive versus when I just want something pretty to look at so the focus of this video is how I intend on using these planners in 2017 um, I wanted to do it this month which is November because 2017 is like right you know it's coming up real real quick so I have declared November as get your life month so here is what I am working with I'm gonna go through each of these planners on one at a time so real quick let's talk about how I am the brand new owner of my neutral Erin Condren I'm so excited about this I got this one as an early birthday present and I'm super excited to start doing my weekly plan with me's in here I have been waiting and dying inside because I wanted to do this video before I got started in here so I haven't started decorating or putting any stickers so oh, I can't wait though now don't get me wrong I still love my colorful Erin Condren but I feel like I plan my kits around the monthly colors as you can see here um, this is January and it goes into February and there's like this backsplash um, above the dates so I feel like I have to get kits that kind of go with these monthly colors um, so I put out in the universe that I would like to try a neutral planner and I ended up getting this one as a early birthday present which I am so excited to use I cannot wait so in short this will be most likely my planner that I will use to do my plan with me's every week and then my colorful planner uh, will probably I'll probably do my mock spreads in this one or some planner rewinds so I know everyone was dying to get themselves a new happy planner. Stephanie Fleming and her crew just released new ones at the end of October and along with the actual planners, they actually, um, they also released some of these binders. Oh, I got my first, I got, <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm sorry. I love this color. If you guys don't know, I love like a mint color, like a green ish bluish color I love this color so anyway I got my first up close glimpse of these bad boys at pinners in Texas and I just knew like I had to get one as soon as they released it so I um, I snagged this one up and it just has this cute little quote on the front with the snap closure so this is going to be my life manager planner. I completely made this my own creation, of course, using the happy planner inserts that I got and some journaling cards. Um, I got happy planner journaling cards along with simple stories. I cannot tell which one is which, so <laughs> please don't ask because I don't know. Um, so, but I mixed up two different happy planners in here the follow your heart happy planner and the botanical gardens happy planner and so I took pieces from both of those planners and I put it in this one um, so just note that this is a Frankenstein planner system but it works for me and if it gives you some ideas just share it with the world so we can all be prepared and organized as a nation of planner addicts oh my gosh my coffee is kicking in so <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys a really quick flip through. This isn't supposed to be like a setup video, but who knows with me. So inside the binder has two pockets and a secretarial pocket on the side. I just decorated these pockets just ever so lightly with some um, journaling cards. I love the, I love the print and I have um, just some scrapbook paper in the back. And I love looking at all the fall colors and this clip is just like to die for. Isn't it so cute? A little foxy with a little um, a little bow on it. I will leave the shop uh, link in the description box below. Um, I actually made this little uh, planner clip. <laughs> I don't know what this exactly is called, but I got the pieces from Hobby Lobby and I just clipped it onto the uh, rings of the Happy Planner so it just rests right there and this clip I did make that myself out of just bow and a paper clip. So over here is the pocket page. I just put some small journaling cards in here. Each one of them means something to me. I love to travel so I have the world on here and the rest goes on and on. 
I like keeping these cards in my planner. I just like keeping positivity all around me. And since this is my life planner, I keep all of these really positive journaling cards in here. Like they are everywhere just for motivation. So beware, there's like sprinkles of journaling cards everywhere in this planner. Okay, so the way I have this set up, this divider goes into the notes section and um, I just have some graph paper over here because there's something personal on that side. And anyway, there's these skinnier note pages in front and then along, along, along the back, or in the back rather, there are the graph pages and I use these pages to, I use these pages just for ideas or list making, note taking, um, so they come in handy. And then here's another pocket page filled with more journaling cards and notes that I have in there. And then this one goes into November. And then we have this divider and it goes into my month of November. And first you will see the 2016 through 2017 year at a glance. I love this. I had to keep it in my planner because it's just a good reference for when I am flipping through. I want to know what day lands on what date. And so that's awesome to keep in there. And then turning to the November, of course, you guys are familiar with this page. This is kind of like a goals page or um, this one actually says currently and I just listed some things that I was, um, you know, currently doing right now. I am loving The Walking Dead. Do not get me started on that. So here's another journaling card, of course. And then this is the cover page for the month of November. I love that I decorated all that. This next divider goes into November. I'm not gonna show you guys the monthly pages because I am doing a video and I will post that up later about how I decorate the monthly pages for November. But um, turning to this page, of course, more journaling cards. I work from home for the most part and I will be starting some new projects soon, but um, mixed with scheduling important things in here, I also note um, when I start to feel anxious, when I start feeling anxiety kick in, it's important to write that down because when anxiety hits, I want to know what triggers it. So like on this day, for some reason, I started feeling anxiety and I kind of had a little panic attack along with that. So I just wrote down what I was doing at the time, what time of day it was and what happened. And then um, I was able to go to my brain dump section and I was able to kind of journal and I used um, some extra note pages from the back of my planner. I used it to write down more notes. Let me just show you actually. Okay, so this is an empty page right so here. So this is the hourly side, so you can plan out your days, and then this is the get it done side, and then they also have a small spot for um, grateful thoughts or thankful thoughts, and then up here it just says top priorities, your top three, and then you can put the date down. But like I said, over here I do list important appointments and whatnot, but I also, you know, like I said, if I was having some type of problem, I wanna know when it hit and what triggered it, and whatnot but then over here sometimes I find myself just writing like just a small snippet of what happened today how I was feeling or whatnot or sometimes I um, will list a big step in this or I'm sorry a big thing to do like the most important thing of my day and then I will list the steps that I need to take to get it done so that's that and I love this grateful for um, spot right here it helps me it really does help me keep things into perspective and I always want to stay grateful. I also love, um, I love that on the back of every hourly page is a spot for you to put your brain dump and I already, I already kind of told you guys what I use this page for. Some days it goes for journaling, some days it just goes um, for, I don't know, you, YouTube, <laughs> things to do with that. Um, some days it goes for taking notes and whatnot. But I love that this brain dump is just automatically in here. Having a brain dump page is so good because you can put all your thoughts right here and you can actually just just write down everything you have to do for the next day or for even the whole week and then you can go ahead and kind of prioritize them. So I think that's really good to be right there. This is a random, it's supposed to be a pocket. I don't know, my son kind of did some crazy stuff right here with the hole punch 
and I just, I didn't want to throw this paper away because the paper is so pretty. So I kept it and I made it into a pocket. You can actually put stuff in there. But anyway. Okay, so after a week's worth of hourly planning in my happy planner. So after a week's worth of planning in the hourly on the hourly pages, I would like to find some me time on the weekends to sit and decorate my weekly spreads. Um, and I, I will use these weekly spreads for memory keeping. I was really good about doing this in October, but November it's been kind of off. Usually on the weekend, my family wants all the time especially my son and he's so cute so i have to give it to him but i will be doing these soon i just have november and december in here and then um i have the months on two pages already in this binder all the way up until december of next year and that is so i can do some um future planning in my planner if i have to but beginning new year, however, I will switch the pages of the of this planner, the weekly spread, to the new happy planner, which I also picked up. And this is one of the happy, one of the new, 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 new <laughs> happy planners I decided to pick up from Michaels. I saw this a couple, um, I saw this a couple of weeks ago on somebody's YouTube channel. And I decided after re after they reviewed it, I had to get it. Um, as I flip through here, I as you can tell, like I don't I don't have an old Happy Planner with me, but um, Happy Planner came out with this neutral planner that is just a twelve month planner, so it goes from January to December, and I absolutely adore this planner. I don't know why I like the neutral planners so much because I am such a colorful person, but this planner is so simple and I love the fact that this is a neutral planner. So classy and as I flip through here really quick, I love all the gold foiling and this is your month on two pages and oh my gosh, I just, I love all the white space, I do. Um, and this is your week. Um, this planner does not do the color blocking that the other planners do. And I love all this white space. I can't get enough of it. Love, 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 obsessed with this. And the fact that it doesn't have um, any sort of color blocking on the weekend. Ugh, I think this is ideal for my memory sp spreads, which, um, which will be going in the weeks. So I feel like I can get really creative. Absolutely love that. If you are looking for kind of like a classy planner, I suggest that you pick this one up. This is, oh, I cannot wait. So that is it for the first half of my planning system 2017 and I will post the second half um, tomorrow most likely so make sure to come back then and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!